Zapier versus Automate.io, which is better? These are the two of the most popular automation tools available in the market when it comes to automation platform. So both of them offer amazing features, but one of them is better than the other depending on your needs. So without further ado, let me show you the side-by-side -side comparison and what are the differences between these two platforms. So let's get started. Zapier is a task-based automation tool that allows you to hook it up with other apps and services, such as Gmail and Slack, for example. It has a wide range of integration as well, while Automate.io is also built on the same platform as Zapier, but it takes things one step farther by allowing you to create a step-by-step -step automation task within your own web app or mobile app. So that's the advantage of the Automate.io. Instead of just linking in external tools like MailChimp or Dropbox, which are what Zapier does. Automate.io also includes an API so that developers can build their own integrations using Automate's API instead of having to write scripts themselves through its own interface. But of course, this comes at a cost. And also, API feature can be used by the developers and it's not easy to use for beginners who doesn't have any web development skills or knowledge. So now when it comes to integration, Zapier has more integration than Automate.io. If your business relies heavily on any given app, then chances are good there will be an integration available somewhere in SaaS integration. They also have an API tool that you can easily connect other apps. Again, as I said, that API for beginners who doesn't have any web development at and the other disadvantage of the Automate.io, though they have the API, but the API tool is only available to their higher tier plan. Zapier is a much more powerful tool than Automate.io, as it allows you to create more complex workflows by using its third-party integration and apps, along with its own plugins for email subscriptions, form fields, and other things like that. In addition to this, Zapier also has a few new features such as the ability to send emails from a list of contacts or groups automatically when an event happens in your system. Like for example, when someone signs up for a newsletter, then you can set up inside of Zapier to send an automatic email to all those people who just sign up for a newsletter. However, if you're looking for something simpler where everything just works without having any technical knowledge, then Automate.io can also be a good option for you. Automate.io is also a great automation tool that has a lot of features, plus the cost is way less than Zapier. So if you are looking for an affordable option or affordable automation platform, and if you don't mind having a fewer integrations at all, then I can suggest that choose Automate.io. This will be the perfect automation platform for you. So take note, make sure that the app that you are using is just available to be integrated inside the Automate.io because if it's not, then this software is not for you. So now let's compare the two when it comes to the pricing plans. So here are the different pricing plans over here. So let's first discuss the Zapier pricing plan. So as you can see here, Zapier has five different pricing plans. They have the free forever plan. And this is perfect for individuals who need the basic of automation. So from this plan, you can get 100 tasks per month. And also these additional features here. This is perfect for small businesses or for startup business. So as you can see here, you already have everything here inside their free plan. And the next plan is the starter plan for $19.99 per month if billed annually. But if you will be paying it monthly, then it's going to be $29.99 per month. So this is perfect for individuals with simple multi-step automation needs. So here, as you can see, you can get 750 tasks per month 
plus additional features as you can see here. And the third plan is the $49 per month billed annually and $73.50 if billed monthly. This is for professional, perfect for individuals that need the full power of Zapier automation platform. From this plan, you can get 20,000 tasks per month plus additional features as you can see here. And the next plan is the uh, team plan for $399 per month billed annually or $598.50 if billed month to month. And the last plan is the company plan for $799 per month billed annually and $1,198.50 if billed month to month. So this is perfect for organization who wants the automation with robust security features and oversight capabilities. So here, as you can see, uh, these are the plan features that included inside the company plans. You have all the advanced features inside the Zapier. So going forward, let's compare it to the uh, automate.io pricing plan. So for the automate.io, they have these six different plans here. And as you can see the number, the automate.io is way cheaper compared to the peer. For the automate.io, they also have a free plan here, which it will cover action or task 300 per month and also boots, five data check, five minutes, team members, one. So here, the next plan is the personal plan for $9.99 per month. And you can have this one here, which action is 600 per month. So here, they also have the professional plan for $29 per month. And the next one is the startup for $49 per month. And you can get this one covered. And then the growth plan for $99 per month. And the last plan is the business plan for $199 per month. And you will get all these features here. So just a wrap up for me, Zapier is an easy to use tool that helps user automate their workflows and have an easier time doing so. On the other hand, Automate.io is also a great automation platform. However, I believe that Zapier offers better value for most users due to its free plan being available as well as its higher level of integrations, which means it can integrate with more apps than the automate.io. So I will recommend that you go ahead and try the free plan since they are offering a free plan to all of their users and see if which of this platform makes you comfortable using. So I guess that's all for today's video and thank you so much for watching.